will be delayed any longer. Any longer. If there, were, if there was a delay, if there was a delay, this is what the Lord is saying. None of my words will be delayed any longer. If there was a delay, he is saying, none of the things he promised you will be delayed any longer. He says, whatever I say will be fulfilled, declares the sovereign Lord. I do not know what the Lord has promised you. It could be that in the beginning of the year, he told you that this is the year that you are going to get married. This is the year that you are going to get your job. I don't know what he promised you, but this is what he is saying, that none of my words will be delayed any longer. So it could have been that there was a delay from January to June. But the Lord is saying, none of my words will be delayed any longer. None of my words will be delayed any longer. Tell yourself, my marriage will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, my pro promotion will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, my health will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, my baby will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, my job will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, whatsoever the Lord has promised you, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. He will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. We are standing upon the scripture. We are standing upon the scripture because the word of the Lord says that heaven and earth shall pass, but my name, my word will remain the same. He says that he has exalted his word above his name. His word is greater than his name. Even the Lord Jesus, in the beginning, he is called the word. Even in the book of Revelation, his name is the word. The word of God is everlasting. His word is forever and it is true. It will stand. This is what we are standing upon. That none of the things that the Lord has promised you in 2023 will be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, we pray against the spirit of delay. We pray against the spirit of delay in the mighty name of Jesus. For whatsoever the Lord has promised us will not be delayed any longer. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, anything that the Lord has promised us for the year 2023 will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, we pray against the spirit of delay. We cancel the spirit of delay. We uproot the spirit of delay. In the mighty name of Jesus, we come against any plans of the enemy to delay us in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever that thing that the Lord has promised you, I want you to say it like this. None of, for example, my marriage will not be delayed any longer. I want you to say it. Don't just type amen. Say it. My marriage will not be delayed any longer. My job will not be delayed any longer. My finances will not be delayed any longer, says the Lord. Everything he has said, he will fulfill it, says the Lord. Whatever he has said to me in the beginning of the year 2023, he will fulfill it, says the Lord. It shall be fulfilled with speed in the name of Jesus. With speed in the name of Jesus. With speed in the name of Jesus. I speak speed, supernatural speed. What you could not do for the past six months, you will do it within these six months. You will close this year with on a good victory. You will close this year with a celebration in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord has said, my word will no longer be delayed. The promises he has said over you will no longer be delayed. He will fulfill what he has said, what he has promised you, he will fulfill it. What he has promised you, he will fulfill it. And he is not a man that he should lie. Nor is he a son of man that he should repent. Everything that he has said, he will, it will come to pass in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, my word will never return to me void. My word will not return to me void. 
it will not return to me void. It will not return to the Lord void. Whatever he has promised you. Some of you have, have been having dreams. You've been having dreams. You keep on seeing yourself reaping. You are reaping. You are seeing big, extraordinary sizes of fruit. You are seeing vegetables. You are seeing harvest. You are seeing a great harvest. This year, you will harvest in the name of Jesus. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. You have been seeing yourself harvesting things. You've been seeing yourself harvesting. You've been seeing trees of ripe fruit. And you are seeing yourself, you are collecting. You are putting them in baskets. The Lord is saying that there is a turnaround in your financial life in the name of Jesus. There is a turnaround in your financial life in the name of Jesus. You will harvest. You will harvest in the name of Jesus. You will harvest in the name of Jesus. The Lord is going to fill your baskets with plenty. Your baskets shall be filled with plenty in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your baskets shall be filled with plenty. Your baskets shall be filled with plenty. It will be filled with plenty. It will be filled with plenty. Your life is changing in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are the one who has been seeing yourself, you keep on seeing yourself harvesting. Listen, the Lord is about to fill your baskets. The, the word of God says, blessed shall be. The, the, my, my basket shall be blessed. My, your bank, your bank, your bank will be, will be blessed. It will be blessed in the name of Jesus. It will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Man le krato sai kele vetelia sacra dea. Man le rado si krante le velia. Ra le kronta eva le kuda bahaske veteli krano saya. In the name of Jesus. The word of God says you shall declare a thing and it shall be established. It shall be established. Don't just type, don't just type the thing. No longer be delayed. The word of the Lord says, the Lord shall fulfill it. Everything that the Lord has said, it shall be fulfilled. My finances will not be delayed. Don't just type it. Say it with your mouth. Say it with your mouth that my marriage will not be delayed. My job will not be delayed. My finances will not be delayed. Nothing of mine will be delayed in the name of Jesus. There is nothing of mine that will be delayed in the name of Jesus. Nothing of mine will be delayed in the name of Jesus. I shut down every operation of delay in the mighty name of Jesus. I shut down every operation of delay in the mighty name of Jesus. Enter your season of harvest. Enter your season of harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Enter your season of harvest. Enter your season of harvest in the name of Jesus. Enter your season of harvest in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you guys that when you see delay in your life, please stop thinking that it is normal. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing normal about delay. Stop thinking that the Lord is the one that is, my God, oh Jesus. You know the book of, in the book of Isaiah, it says, as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth. She brought forth. Do not, oh, do not sit in a season beyond what you were supposed to sit. You, some of you are overdue. Some of you should have already been owning successful businesses. You are overdue. The baby will die. The baby will die. You will give birth to something that is still. You will give birth to a stillborn because the baby is literally sitting in there for way too long. You will miss the season. I need you to know that every season comes with a provision. And if you stay in one season for way too long, you're going to miss out on the provision that were allocated for you in the, in, within that specific season. There is grace in that specific season. Grace to enable you not to toil. That the work that you ha do, it will be blessed. It will, be, it will move so smoothly, with so much speed, with so much ease. 
But all of these things are allocated within a season. And you need to move according to the season that the Lord has called for you in this specific time. <clears throat> Stop staying in seasons for way too long. Stop staying in seasons for way too long. It is the spirit of delay that makes you stay in seasons for way too long. That, should have, that you should have left. Leave those seasons right now. Pack up your bags and enter into the new season. Time is ticking. When you now start doing that thing that you should have done 10 years ago, you will do it with so much toil and it will be hard. It will be hard because you are not able to use the strength that was allocated for you in that specific season. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This is why the Lord is able to do so much with young people. Because this is the season where we have the strength. This is the season where we have the strength to be moving around nations, to be going to and from because we have the strength. Now, if I do this, what, I, what I'm doing right now when I am old, my God, I will not do it with the same pressure because I would have run out of strength. The strength that would have been allocated for me in that specific season, I would have lost it because I was not sensitive to the timings of the Spirit. There is grace allocated in every season. Grace and strength are located in every season. Some of you are using strength from a previous season. You are using old strength. Old strength. Strength. Old strength. That's what some of you guys are using. You are using old strength. You are using enter into your season. Enter into your own, to this new season. Ask the Lord, Father, reveal to me. Reveal to me my season. Reveal to me this new season in the name of Jesus. If it may be your pay, prayer for the rest of the weekend, let it be so. Reveal to me my new season. Show me the things I should begin to do. Because, because as you move into a new season, the Lord starts showing you the new things. The Lord starts showing you that from today, I want you to do this and this and this and this and this because it's a new season. It could be that the Lord wants you to change certain habits about you. It could be the Lord, the, like it's in the simplest instructions. The Lord could be telling you from this month, I want you to start waking up early and I want you to start, do, start doing this and this and this and this and this because it's a new season. It's a new season. Behave like a new season. If you are trusting God for a job and you are unemployed, start waking up like somebody who is expecting for a job. Start, apply, start applying. Wake up early. But do the things that you should do. Do the things that a person who is employed does. Behave like a person who, oh my God. If you are believing God for a child, get out of your house. Go to the shop. Go look at baby clothes. Go look at baby clothes. The Bible says we do not focus on things that are seen, but we focus on things that are not seen. Because the things that are seen, they are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You believe in God for a marriage? Unlock that account from private mode. Start posting more. Start going out. Start behave like somebody who is in a brand new season. Start behaving like a wife. Start behaving like a wife. Start doing the things that wives do. Start dressing like a wife. Start dressing like a wife. Behave the way that Behave like the season. Behave like a season. Behave like that season. Behave like that season. You are trusting God for a financial breakthrough. You don't even have a bank account. My God. You don't even have a business. It's not going to fall from heaven. Your business is not even registered. My God. Behave like that new season. Because after you have prayed against the spirit of delay, after you have waged war against the spirit of delay, 
You don't just sit and, and start your thumb. That's not what you do. You get up and do the thing that you're trusting God for. If God said, I am going to give you influence in social media, get up, start being consistent in the social media sphere until doors open for you. There's a friend of mine. There's a friend of mine from Nigeria. I remember in the beginning of the year, he was getting discouraged. He was saying, yo, the social media thing is discouraging me. It's discouraging me. I said to him, be consistent. Show up every day. Be consistent. I tell you the truth. When his social media skyrocketed, this person has more followers than me now. Legit. He has more followers than me. On Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. His growth did not just grow on one platform. It, it grew from Instagram to YouTube to Facebook to TikTok. Everything just escalated. Sometimes I look at him and I'm like, hey, what? What about me? <laughs> Show up. If God said, I want to use you and give you influence to change many lives, do it. If God said, I want to use you within to be an author, to write books, to change young lives, start writing the book. Start writing the book. Start writing the book. You have a dream. To, 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 to do culinary stuff, go and roll in that school. Be the greatest chef for Jehovah. We don't all have to preach the gospel. We don't all have to stand behind the pulpit and preach. I was talking to someone today. I said, just because you are saved doesn't mean that now you don't have to continue posting the things you used to do. If you are passionate about traveling, please. We can travel through your eyes. Carry on doing what you want to do for the Lord Jesus. You can preach through your cuff. Preach through. Do you understand that we need more fashion designers who are not going to, 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 to design things that are provocative? We need more fashion designers who are going to give us clothes that, that, that preach the message of modesty. We need that. We need that. We need more people. Who, who are going to be in the fashion industry. We need more people who are going to produce good Christian music that glorifies the Lord. Oh, guys, I encourage you. I encourage you. I encourage you. I encourage you guys. Please, I encourage you all. I encourage you all. I am encouraging every single person. Please, enter into your new season. 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 It could be that you just want to be an art, like you want to be, you want to paint. Your painting on its own can preach the gospel. It could be that you want to be an accountant. It could be that you want to be a lawyer. It could be that you want to be the doc a doctor. You could, you, could, you could want to be anything. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. I was just here for 30 minutes. I have a prayer session. Sorry, I have a training right now. It's 7, so I need to get ready for that. I love you all. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray may you seal this word in their hearts. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord Jesus, may you encourage them, oh Lord Jesus. May you lift them up in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak a new season over their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be an increase in their lives in the name of Jesus. Father, they are blessed coming in. They are blessed going out. Blessed in the city, blessed in the field. In the name of Jesus, their, their basket is full. It is blessed. Their basket is blessed with grain in the name of Jesus. The work of their hands is blessed in the name of Jesus. The fruit of their womb is blessed in the name of Jesus. As you say, none shall miscarry, none shall be bad barren you will fulfill the days of lord jesus the fruit of the vine shall not be cast out before its time i pray against any spirit of miscarriage in the name of jesus father they will carry that baby that desire that idea until it reaches its, 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 full, its full term in the mighty name of jesus father i pray let there be an increase in the name of jesus i pray lord jesus they are blessed i pray against the spirit of delay whatever it was, it had planted, let it be uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. They are blessed, O oh Lord. 
they are elevated, they are being elevated, they are flourishing. These last six months of this year, oh God, they will sing a new song. They will celebrate. They will smile. Lord, you are wiping away those tears of sorrow in the name of Jesus. You are wiping away those tears of sorrow. There, there is a celebration. Oh, Lord Jesus, they shall hear congratulations. They will hear congratulations. They will hear congratulations. They will hear congratulations. I see tears of joy. I see tears of joy. Tears of joy. Father, you are removing every sorrow, every pain, and you are replacing it with a new song in the name of Jesus. You are replacing it with a new song in the name of Jesus. They shall celebrate. They will celebrate. They will celebrate in the name of Jesus. They will sing a new song. People will say, indeed, Jehovah has dealt wondrously with them. In the name of Jesus. Indeed, people will say that the Lord has dealt wondrously with them. In the name of Jesus. It shall be like a dream. Their mouth will be filled with laughter. In the name of Jesus. They will celebrate. There will no longer be sorrow. There will no longer be pain. You are wiping away every tear. There will shall no longer be any losses. I pray against the spirit of death. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. There shall no longer be any losses in your family. There will no longer be any spirit of premature death. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. Whoever you are, I don't know. You have been crying a lot. Sorrow after sorrow. The Lord says he is replacing those tears of sorrow with tears of joy. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. You will celebrate. The Bible says that when, when, when Israel was led out of captivity, it was like a dream. Their mouth were filled with laughter. It says, people said, Indeed, the Lord has dealt wondrously with them. You will no longer cry. 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 The Lord is wiping away those tears and he is replacing them with tears of joy. The only tears that will fall down from your eyes will be the tears of joy. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song unto Jehovah. You will sing a new song unto Jehovah. You are entering a new season. It is done in the name of Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. I want you from today to be very intentional in the place of prayer. I want you from today to start thanking the Lord. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for this new season. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you will do. I want you to put on the garment of praise. I want you to put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise. And you will see how, oh, you will see it unfold. You will see it unfold. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. I will try. I will try. Come tomorrow. I will try. Vicky, Vicky, listen. The Lord will remember you. The Lord will remember you, Vicky. Remember you. The Lord has remembered you. Vicky, the Lord has remembered you. Just in case you thought that the Lord has forgotten about you, the Lord has remembered you. Just in case you thought that, just in case you thought that the Lord doesn't care. Oh my God. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. Be encouraged, Vicky. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. The Lord will never forget you. The Bible says that his eyes are constantly on the righteous. His ears, they never grow weary. The, his ears never grow weary, Vicky. The Lord loves you. The Lord has remembered you. Look at this simple prayer. You asked him to call your name. I called your name. 
let that be your confirmation that he sees you he sees you he sees you and he cares about you and i pray for you vicky that you will be encouraged and comforted the lord shall sing a new song over you the bible says that he surrounds us with songs of deliverance may they be songs of deliverance that surround you right now in the name of jesus may they be songs of deliverance that surround you right now in the name of jesus let there be angels my god let there be angels let there be angels angels right now they are surrounding you i command angels to begin to move on your behalf vicky i command them to move over you let the holy spirit brood over you let angels begin to move on your behalf, Vicky. Let angels begin to move on your behalf. Let them begin to move on your behalf. Let them begin to arrange things for you. Let things begin to be arranged right now in the name of Jesus. And if there was any spirit of delay, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. You are coming out. You are going to sing a new song, Vicky. You are going to sing a new song because the Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord has remembered you. You are going to sing a new song. The Lord is surrounding you right now with songs of deliverance. There shall be a way of escape. There will be a way of escape. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus.
to know that the Lord sees you. If the Lord is able to pick somebody like Vicky, what more about you? Are we not all the children of God? Are we not all the children of God? We all are. I want you to know that the Lord is able to pick one person amongst many. The Lord is able to pick one person amongst a many just to prove to you that he loves you. Just to prove to you that he sees you. Just to prove to you that you are important to him. Just to prove to you that you are the apple of his eye. Just to prove to you that the Bible says your name is written on the palm of his hands. Be encouraged. The Lord loves everybody on this life. The same that which I prayed for Vicky. Let it be so unto your life too. May you all receive strength for this new season. May you all receive strength for this new season. You shall all rejoice. You shall all sing a new song. In the mighty name of Jesus. There shall no longer be any delay. As the word of the Lord said. The word. The thing that he has said. It shall no longer be delayed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless everybody. Had it not been for the training that I was going to, I would stay a little bit longer. But I need to quickly go eat so that I can attend the training. I love you all with the love of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord bless you and strengthen everyone here. The Lord loves you guys. And be encouraged. This is a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. Thank you, Jesus.